And the first problem I would like to show you is a charged particle in an electrostatic field. Here we have the disk capacitor. There is the negative plate and the positive plate. And the charged particle is placed inside the capacitor. Let's make the problem from the sketch. I start quick field and create the new problem. It's a disk capacitor. The problem type is electrostatics and the model class is axisymmetric. Axisymmetric means that the geometry has the cylindrical symmetry, the axis of rotation is a horizontal one and we should draw only the upper half of the capacitor. And we will simulate only the capacitor interior area. We will not simulate the external field. So this is the new problem and I should draw my geometry model. Yes. This would be the negative plate. And this would be the positive plate. Inside is the vacuum. And I will place the the charge, the point charge inside the capacitor. Charge. It's a point charge, infinitely small, but it's also possible to specify distributed charge on the surface or volume charge. The next step is to assign physical properties to each object. For the vacuum I specify electric permittivity. The negative plate has zero voltage and the positive plate has the potential of one volt. And for the charge I specify the electric charge. I will simulate the electron particle, so the electric charge is the charge of the electron. Now we should build the fine element mesh. Just press one button. Save all problem files and solve the problem.
you can see I got the uniform field distribution. The electric field strength in all region is just is the same as ten volts per meter. But where what effect charge how does the charge affect our field? Right now I can see no effect from the charge placed here. Let's make the dense mesh. Usually to get better results you should build the dense mesh. I run the simulation again. And again nothing. We have uniform electric field with intensity of ten volts per meter. You can see the vectors of electric field strength. You may ask where is the charge? Let's build the integration contour. I remember I placed the charge somewhere here. You can see there is a charge inside the contour. and there is the force acting on the charge. And the force value corresponds to the formula. Charge multiplied by the electric field strength. Electric field strength is 10 volts per meter. I multiply it by the by the charge value and the force should be about one one point six E negative eighteen. You can see I get the correct value with weak field, but let's take a look closer at our charge. I will adjust the field picture. Our charge is somewhere here. Yes, this is our charge. You can see that the charge affects the field distribution in a very small area of about one 
micrometer, one tenth of micrometer. You may ask why it doesn't detect the field distribution in general? There are two reasons. For one, the charge is very small in size. And for second, the charge is very small in value. Let's calculate the charge stored on the capacitor plates. The capacitor plates holds the charge about one million times higher than the electron charge. So we can remove the charge particle from the model away and simply calculate the force manually by multiplying the field strength value by the presumed charge value. Let's do it. There will be no charge now. I simulate the problem again. And to calculate force, I will measure the electric field strength. The electric field strength is 10 volts per meter and I cal simply can calculate the force multiplying the electric field strength by the charge of the particle. The force will be aligned with electric field stress vector in case of positive charge or has reverse direction in case of negative charge. And this is the main principle of the particle tracer built in quick field. The particle charge does not affect the field distribution in general. And to run the particle tracer, please follow to the view particle trajectory. Here you should specify the particle, the particle parameters, the charge, the mass, and the energy. Let's place the motionless charge to particle inside the capacitor. Now I should choose the emitter place. And this is the trajectory. You can see the particle trajectory aligned with the electric field strength vectors. and we put inside the negative charge so the charge flew in reverse direction to the electric field strain. The tracer calculates the trajectories and you can follow the trajectory and see the kinematic parameters. The velocity, the acceleration. So let's use the 
particle tracer and simulate the real device.